Hey, what's up? Rob here for uh, Man vs. YouTube Books. Am I right? I think you know my stance on them. They're heavy, they're large, dust collectors, definitely a relic of the past. I mean, any book worth reading has already been made into a movie. Bookstores, libraries, are any of these things really necessary anymore? Unfortunately, we need a book for this week's project, so I headed over to Corinne's bookshelf. She still reads these things, and I grabbed the biggest book there. Twilight? Oh yeah, here we go. Remember that time in our world when everybody was obsessed with vampires? Now it's the Kardashians, which I guess are still like vampires. I grabbed some glue, an exacto, a brush, and this monstrosity of a book. Oh, sh**. This is Corinne's Stephanie Meyer's signed first edition. Huh, maybe I should use another one. Damn it, this one is the perfect size though. Eh, she can get another one. The first thing that I did was glue the first, I don't know, 50 or so pages together, one page at a time. I, I actually stopped at page 69, uh, cause I'm apparently still 13 years old. Once those were dry, I threw in some dividers and proceeded to glue the remaining pages together by coating the sides of the book. I let it dry with a weight on top of it and a couple hours later, boom, success. I drew out how big I wanted my hole and with my exacto spent the entire night cutting out hundreds of f***ing ridiculous pages of bad teen Mormon vampire romance. His fingers moved up and down my back, barely touching it as he lightly traced patterns on my skin. I would have been happy to lie here forever, but my body had other ideas. Hello. I left about a hundred or so pages in the bottom and glued the inside of all of them together. I also got fancy as f***ing and threw some felt in there. Ta-da! Stash book complete. Things I'm putting in there include our fake passports and social security cards, along with some foreign currency and a couple of one-way flights. Always good to have a plan uh, in case you kill somebody and you need to get the f out of the country. I'm throwing in a couple of vials of the blood of my enemies. I even got a lock of hair in here for one of them, uh, just in case I ever need the Stephen Avery motherfucker. Uh, some random teeth I've collected over the years. This watch actually was my great grandfather's, who apparently killed two people for it in a poker game. There's still dried blood on it, which I think is pretty awesome. And lastly, all of the money that I'm gonna make on this sweet ass audible.com sponsorship. And the winner for best segue goes to. If you didn't already know, I am super addicted to audible.com pretty much because I'm too lazy to read books myself. If you are not familiar with the service, they read the books to you. And not just they, the actual authors sometimes. Grace just read me her brand new book. I also just listened to the brand new Welcome to Night Vale novel, read by Cecil, the same guy that does the podcast. Leonardo DiCaprio, however, did not read me uh, The Revenant, but I finished that this weekend as well, just so that I can go to an Oscar party and say sh like, oh, well, the book was just so much better than the movie. Huh, they didn't even put half the stuff in there. So get smarter the easy way. Go to audible.com slash czar. That's right, they gave me slash czar for a 30-day free trial membership. But don't worry, I'm not keeping all the money for myself. I'm actually gonna give it back to you guys. Not, well, I mean, not all of it. I'm just gonna give you a little bit. I'm gonna buy two Amazon Kindle Fire HDs along with two $100 Amazon gift cards for you guys to try it out yourself. So check out audible.com slash czar and then go down into the comments and leave me the weirdest thing that you would put in your stash book and you are entered. We put out a ton of videos this week. Check out Threadfinger for a brand new one. Corinne's got one over on her personal channel where she makes these big ass milkshakes. So be sure you check that out. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you around here next time.